Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of new features added to Photoshop CS 6.1. Now, finally, we can use Liquify filter, but also the new blur features introduced in Photoshop CS 6 on smart object as smart filters, which will make them completely non-destructive. These are amazing time savers and also amazing improvements to Photoshop. I am going to show you a couple of great examples here. Just quickly go through these options. So first of all, I'm going to create a smart object of this layer, convert to smart object, right click and then convert to smart object. And then finally, now we can use liquify as a smart filter and that's an amazing feature. So let me choose filter liquify. And then here, all I want to do in this image is to move the clothes a bit around. So I'm going to use the forward warp tool and I just move this a little bit closer to the body. Something like that. I try to make it natural, but still reshape it a bit. And uh, don't forget that uh, since CS6, we can also use the same keyboard shortcuts for resizing the brush size here in Liquify as in uh, Photoshop. It's Control, Alt, Click, and then drag left and right. So that will give us uh, the size of the brush. We can be even more precise with the clothes. Let me move these a little bit closer as well here on the right, something like that. Now, if I click on OK, and that's the important part, we can see that Liquify will be a smart filter, which we can always turn off or on again. Let me zoom closer to the uh, clothes before and after. And if I double click on it, we can go back to Liquify and we will have the same mesh. So if we have the advanced mode on, we can always show the mesh and we can see the changes we did and we can always reconstruct areas. For example, here on the left, if I use the reconstruct tool, I can draw over it and I can always reconstruct it like this. So that's a very useful feature and uh, now it can be used completely non-destructively because we have a smart filter. So if I click on OK, it will update here in a Photoshop document. Similarly to the Liquify tool, we have the same feature for the new blur gallery, which we have in uh, the filter menu as well. So field blur, iris blur and tilt shift, we can all use as smart filters. Once again, all I need to do is right click on the layers and choose convert to smart object. And then if I go to filter and I choose, let's just say iris blur in this case, I can set my iris blur the way I want to use it. So let me just concentrate on this area of the image. I am going to increase the iris blur effect and maybe add a little bit light and bokeh color on the image, maybe a little bit more light, okay, something like that. Okay, we can always change the fall off as well. I'm going to use a little bit uh, softer fall off. And then if I click on okay, we will see that the same effect, I um, mean this blur effect will be used as a smart filter. And that's an amazing feature because now if I decide to make changes to this blur, I can always double click on it and I can move it around. I can focus on another part of the image, for example, here, and I can also make other changes to it. Let me just rotate it around, change the shape of the iris blur, maybe reduce the uh, light bokeh, increase the bokeh color a little bit more and I can change the blur setting as well. If I click on OK, you can see all the changes will update on the smart object. And let me show you the same uh, with the tilt shift effect. So once again, right click, convert to smart object. That's always the first step. And then filter blur. Now I will choose tilt shift. And here in tilt shift, I can move uh, the focus let's say here to the bottom and then I'm going to increase blur by the way I just zoom a little bit clo closer so increase blur and uh, the bokeh effect will be really nice on this image so let me just increase light bokeh uh, something like that bokeh color a bit more maybe bokeh down and increase blur 
and these features are uh, great examples of something that you need to experiment with so if you like this effect and you click on OK now because of, thanks to the smart filter feature we can always go back and make changes so I can double click on blur gallery and I can decide to move this here uh, put the focus on the building and have everything blurred out at the bottom and of course we can always change uh, the fall off here as well and then if I click on OK, we completely changed uh, the blur settings. And that's not all, because you can also do exactly the same things on video files. So here is a video, uh, which I just um, opened in Photoshop, a video file. And I am going to make this smaller. So I'm going to go to image, image size. And because it's an HD video, it will take a bit longer to uh, just render what I'm going to do. Let me make it smaller. And Photoshop will warn me that it will have to be turned into a smart object to be able to transform the video layer. That's exactly what I wanted to do anyway. So it's perfect. Let's just convert it. So now that's my video. And I just need the uh, timeline panel. So I go to Window, Timeline. And you can see this is a video, so I can always uh, play it. And let's just say I would like to concentrate on this area of the video. So where my hand is and, uh, and the painting. So I am going to choose again filter and blur and choose iris blur. And then let me just place this iris uh, in the middle. So I will create like a, a circle, maybe a little bit bigger, something like that. And I can make it again a bit different shape and I can increase the blur and now this blur effect will be applied to the whole video remember you have to have the video turn into a smart object just like with images and now if I go around the video you can see it's blurred out all over the whole video and if you want to see how it looks I can show you uh, the mp4 file let me just play it uh, with the video player so this would be the rendered version of the uh, effect that we added. So as you can see, we have that iris blur in the middle and everything else is blurred out apart from that uh, center part of the video. So with this feature, now you can use even Liquify or any of the blur gallery options on video files as well. And of course, don't forget, you can use all the other filters, uh, which you had previously also in Photoshop, on video files.